I made it twice the size. And this is a negative lens. So my negative lens will look like this. So this goes here. It's a diverging lens. So by how much it will go away depends on this and this point. And then this becomes fake line because it is a because it is a lens, it will go through. So this will be P1 and P1. Now I've used up my first, and then that means I have to do to use just to go through here. And this is a lens. So this is fake. And that means to go parallel to that. Okay. And then I have my chief ray. Okay, now they don't meet anywhere. None of them meet anywhere. Oh, so I have to extend. Start extending thing backwards. Okay, so I can extend this one backwards. That means my image one will be here. Did other people get their image one here? Yeah. Yes. So now this is what kind of an image? Upright, virtual, and reduced. Now let's do our second part. Okay, and then it says it's 45 centimeters, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And this is now a positive lens. It's empty. Yeah, and I have to use both focal points. I, I have to do one focal point here and one focal point here. So I'm going to start with my red and I'm going to do my parallel. So this time my parallel will be this ray. And since this is a converging case, it has to converge in through this focal point. Next one is my focal, it has to start at the top here, start at the top here, use this focal point, come and hit it here, and then become parallel and go here. And the last ray is the chief ray, which is the easiest one to draw, and I am very grateful for that. Here, hit here. And where do all three of them meet? Right there. Yeah. I too. So note this very cool. This is a very cool problem. Do you see that the image one was virtual, but image two is real and it's inverted. You see both sides of the flip coins. So the first we had a real image that gave us a vir virtual object. Now this one is a virtual object that gave us a real image. Let's do the math for this one as well. So I'm gonna follow the same recipe as I did here. I'm gonna write my mirror equation at the top. So my lens mirror equation, One over F equals one over O plus one over I. So then for my lens one, my lens one will be one over F one minus one over O one equals one over I one. Yeah. 
What was my F1? Negative. Negative 15. So this would be minus one over 15 minus one over 30 equals one over I1. So I1 will be negative, negative, one minus a half. Negative 10 centimeters. Does that make sense? So negative 10 centimeters for a lens would be in front of the lens. And that is that what your image is saying? Woohoo. Okay. And then what would be the magnification? Negative I1 over O1, which is negative negative 10 divided by 30, or I can do that math, 0.33. So if I look at the image, what would it be? This would be a virtual image. So I1 is virtual upright and reduced. Is that what this is saying? This negative sign says it is virtual and this says it is reduced. So lens two, object two is what? It is this entire space. So that means what is object two? Thank you, 55 centimeters. So ignore everything else that was there before for I1. Now only concentrate on this object and the second lens. Are we good? Okay, so now then we can write, rewrite this as one over plus 10, minus one over 55 equals one over I2. So what will I2 be? Tw plus or minus? 12.2 centimeters plus. So that means tell you, tells you what? That this is a real image and it is to the, since this is plus for a lens, this distance away from the lens because that's the positive side for the lens. This is the positive side for the lens. Okay, so now how much is the magnification? Minus I2 over O2. That means it'll be negative 12.2 divided by 55. Robel, do you see that? Yeah. It's with respect to now O2. So this would be what? Negative something, tiny number. We Less the, than 20, 20%. What? Did we just use the position of the I1 and then use that distance? To get no, we use the position of I2. I1 disappears in step two. Okay. This oh. is what we are using. So we don't worry about I1 anymore. I1 okay. determines what O2 is right here. Yeah. Do you see it? Yes. Once O2 has been determined, ignore everything you did before. Okay. Now everything will be done with respect to O2. Okay. That's why this, this step is very important, this one that's given in blue. And this step, yes, we got from here. Because the O2 distance, this is O2. Oh, that's what I'm yeah. So we do everything with respect to O2 now. So when we even do the magnification is with respect to O2. Okay, so somebody has an answer 12.2 divided by 55, it should be about 20%. Excellent. 